Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Renee and today you actually should not be surprised by this video because I asked you guys on my Instagram which is Seattle MUA Renee. I'll leave it below as per usual. Just keeping it real. I need to wash my hair and I also am wearing this really cute flower dress from Fashion Nova, but don't get too used to it because knowing me, I'll probably change in maybe five minutes. So if you see me wearing something else in a little bit, don't be surprised. It's the same day, just a new Renee. So today, like I talked about in my stories, which at the time I checked it, 100% of you guys said that you wanted me to do this video. So you know what? Here we are. I'm doing this video. And that would be a first impression on the... Now I have to warn you, There, there is some problems. My palette saw some better days, probably at the warehouse. But when it left the warehouse, it left in a, um, a kind of traumatic state and delivered to me in a traumatic state. So I did email Sephora. I'm waiting to hear back on because I really do actually need to exchange this. But we are going to be looking. I thought I brought the box in here, but I didn't. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Volume 4 palette. I have volumes one and three. I don't have two, which should surprise a lot of you because there's a lot of blue and greens, but I felt like I have a lot of blue and greens just because I'm Seattle, Seattle, MUA, Renee, Seattle, Seahawks, blue, green. Yeah, no. So we are going to be over. I did use this on my makeup look today. I'll have all the details for this look on my Instagram page. If you guys don't follow me on there, you should because I told you to and because I do lots of giveaways. I also do product shots, reviews, and makeup looks. You name it, I do it. Well, besides some things. Let's not, you know, get too carried away. But so I will try to show you guys here. My palette arrived with these shimmer shades on the top, a little shattered. I tried to press them back into place, but you know, it is what it is. And I wanted to film this video anyways. I wanted to use it anyways and try to press some of the shades and I have toilet paper just in case I get messy with the eyeshadows that is. And I wanted to kind of give you my honest thoughts and opinions and maybe swatch a few of these guys. The ones that are shattered will be easier to swatch. Let's look at the positives here. By the way, um, I know I mentioned that I've been going through a lot and I'm not quite ready to really just like dive into it, so to speak yet but um as soon as things get a little bit more calm in my life and in my mouth i will be probably doing a kind of update story time but in the meantime i just want to give a sincere thank you to those of you who support me those of you who love me unconditionally and just have supported me throughout this process. I've been on Instagram a really long time and then moved, kind of not moved, I'm still on Instagram most of the time. But I mean, I have Snapchat, I have Twitter, I have TikTok. Yeah, I'm on TikTok. And I just feel like I always owe it to you guys to A, be my true authentic self, 
which, you know, sometimes is detrimental to my, not only whether people like me or not, or even sometimes in my personal life. I am the type of person that when there's a problem, I share my feelings and my opinion. And sometimes that works out and sometimes it just goes and crashes. But anyways, let's get on to this video. I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna show you some of these shades that are still intact. I did try to use uh, different uh, formulas, I guess, that are in here. So I tried to use the shimmers on top. <laughs> I did use uh, this one. I'm not quite sure. A1. And I used some of the mattes. And then I also used some of the insanely glitter ones at the bottom. So let's just start with A1 here. And this one isn't very pigmented. I used this as a base with some glitter glue and then I went over it with the super glitter shades and more glitter glue. I found that you probably want to do your eyes if unless you're using just the mattes because the shimmers and the glitter shades do have quite a bit of fallout. So, you know, I noticed that more with these shimmer shades. I also noticed I was on Sephora's website kind of just perusing, getting people's opinions in the community about this palette. A lot of people said that the colors were understated, that they weren't as vibrant and pigmented. And for me, when I tested it, I found that the shades were just as pigmented they are a little bit more understated. They're not neon, but you still get, you know, some bright colors. I mean, that, that there, that is a hot, hot, hot pink. I wish I could, you know, show this better, but for the sake of my carpet, I can't. So then let's go in to this B4. B for not before the word, but I think that this would be a great palette for maybe people that wa aren't wanting the super bright looks. It is more of an everyday palette, which has neutrals, but it also has these pops of color and these super, super pressed glitters. Like I, of course they have fallout, but I still was impressed. So A1 is shattered and it's also, to be completely honest, a little bit of a disappointment with pigment and I'm literally pressing into mine because it's already broken. So I mean, what more damage could I do? So that is the shade there, but it's just, you know, I had to build it up quite a lot, even with glitter glue and Fix Plus, but this is, what is this? It is before, how could I forget that? And that went on nice and smooth. My ring light's over here, so I'm trying to get in good lighting for you guys, just for you. You can't say I didn't warn you. I warned you. The dress was just, loved it, but it was too much. By the way, Fashion Nova, uh, both of these outfits came from there. So I got these. I wish you could feel them. They're kind of like a sateen material. And then this crop top. Anyways, let's stop talking about that and let's get back to swatching. These did come off my arm. Thankfully, not my white tank top. So let's swatch one of these mattes. This is C4. I'm going to put up here just in case. It's a little powdery, but so smooth. I can deal with a little bit of fallout as long as it's worth it. And it's worth it, in my opinion. So I did use oh, D5, which I really love this shade. It's 
and I like that burnt sienna type of shade and it's actually part of what I'm wearing underneath my eyes along with E4 and then I took two of the sparkly shades and kind of put one on the inside of my eyelid and then I put the other the darker shade E3 kind of more in the corner and then just deepened it up but you know one of these days I'll get to more tutorials but it ain't today it ain't today folks so here is C4 and D5 just gorgeous super pigmented but not so pigmented that they stain that I do love so this is one of the super super glitter shades uh E2 E2 Se habla espanol Don't answer me I don't know very much It actually goes on um uh almost better than A1 so you can see just how glittery that is and I mean tap my arm and not much actually comes off I don't have primer on my arm or anything like that E3 which I thought was a super super beautiful and unique shade let's do this one live for you I wish you could see how I'm standing it's kind of like a skier I have a skier pose going on in case you're wondering so that is that one so beautiful so all in all I can understand people's hesitation however I think that it's also very different I like all the textures that are in it. I like the different shades. Of course, you know, the top row, I'm not gonna lie, it is clearly very fragile. Fragile. But other than that, I really enjoyed this palette and I feel like the color story gives you a lot to work with since there are, I wish, <laughs> had something where it wasn't like I didn't blind you and I could show you but here we go this is about as good as it's gonna get guys so sorry but blame Sephora not me I feel like it has a good mixture of neutrals along with some pops of color I love the bright pinks the purples this shade we all know my love for this shade so I just think that it is a great palette for spring, summer coming up. Even if we are all forced to stay indoors for the rest of our lives, then we have this. And uh, I'm going to direct you guys to my Instagram and also, but first, for those of you still watching, and halfway paying attention to me i will be putting up a new giveaway next these are all the items that will be in the giveaway all of this so i have i mean a jouet lippy mac urban decay a new milk moisturizer no this is a face cleanser i kept the moisturizer myself because I'm selfish like that but I also share the love too. urban decay so make sure that you're subscribed to my channel make sure you like this video let me know besides a giveaway what else you want to see on my channel because that helps me and it helps you so help me help you and I love you guys and I will see you in my ma 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 ma